writing research and review papers can be difficult, which is why I've decided to use four different AI tools to help that process be a little bit easier. Ever since the wave of ChatGPT, you got me thinking about all the AI tools or even current tools that could be utilized in a research manner to make the process of writing a research paper a lot easier. And believe it or not, I found a few and some really blew my mind especially research rabbit which i'll be talking about later on so i've broken down this video into four different segments because these are the four kind of main areas for me in terms of writing a research paper and nicely coalesces with the four different apps that i have to use so first we have the early phase where we're looking at you know finding different papers that can you know back up our idea and see if the idea is of interest if it's worth pursuing in terms of writing an actual paper so that's the first segment then we have kind of building the framework of the actual paper itself so it's kind of the skeleton as I like to call it where then we develop it further into an actual research paper or a review paper and then once we've got that kind of framework together it's really good to like visualize the whole essence of the research in a different manner which is what research rabbit is going to be actually about and helps us to find commonalities and similarities within the papers that we found in the early phase it helps to actually write that paper and then lastly, once you've written that paper or written past the paper, we need to proofread it. And if you can use AI to actually help that process, that makes a life a lot easier. So that's the fourth segment. So what are these AI tools? The first one is Elicit. I actually made a separate dedicated video about Elicit and how I really enjoyed using it when I first came across it. I'll put the link down in the video description. It should be up here as well. I was really amazed at how Elicit was able to find dedicated research papers just by me typing a query of interest. I remember in the video I was talking about, you know, iron supplementation for severe iron deficient anemia and how it found very recent papers and they actually produced a paragraph that summarized the similarities between these papers and the differences. So it made that early phase in terms of trying to find an idea a lot quicker. And the reason why I put Elicit in terms of this early phase segment is if you are looking at an idea that you think is could that be interesting in terms of research paper? You can just type in that area of interest into Elicit and it will find research papers that are related to what you're talking about. And you can look into the different features that Elicit has in terms of finding you know, the criteria, the inclusion criteria, the exclusion criteria after all clinical trials, some of the things that are missing in the paper. And again, like I said, that little abstract I put on the screen here that you could see that help you to really get the nuggets of all of these papers like that and that's the notion of AI is hopefully to speed things up so then you can focus on the uniqueness of you as a researcher and focus on that dedicated time you know if you were to do this manually you will find that paper and that paper yeah it might take you maybe a few hours but this is literally less than a few minutes and then you can decide which papers are of interest or if that idea needs tweaking a little bit so then you can find something of value so that's why re it is really good initial early phase research paper search engine that I recommend a lot of people to try out. Then once you kind of set in stone on what that idea is and you want to build a framework, chat GPT plus is definitely worth paying for if you're thinking about writing a lot of papers in your long term. The reason why I got plus is that I use it not just for writing research papers but to help me to bring some content for the Instagram page, for the YouTube channel, for my newsletter. So that's the reason why I'm not saying that you should, but if you can afford it, it's definitely worth considering especially when you're looking at producing frameworks for papers. I'm gonna to talk to you about why ChatGPT Plus is really, really good. Now it's not actually ChatGPT Plus, but it's the plugins that you are allowed to use within the pro version of ChatGPT. So if you're looking on screen now, you can see that you're able to use certain plugins and two are really, really big in terms of like being a game changer for ChatGPT for researchers in the paid version. So you can see now there's Scholar AI and there's Link Reader. And I use these two to produce an entire framework, very detailed framework of a paper I'm actually writing at the moment. So these are not just AI tools at all, these are ones I'm actually using. Now I use a link reader because I could find, basically adding the PDFs that I found from Elicit into just, just the DOI links, i.e. the link, and then ChatGPT Plus would use the link reader function to read what's in that PDF and use Scholar AI to find other papers related to that to produce a more detailed framework and a kind of an extension of what Elicit is. Now the reason why I said that is ChatGPT Plus is more up to date than the free version because it's got a larger pool in terms of more recent up to date pool that you can go out and find and then the plugins allow you to find what you need to find because it's got dedicated plugins to find research papers 
as well dedicated plugin to really read what's in a link i.e the link function and that's actually how i produce a detailed framework for my papers so the plus version is of interest if you can afford it if you are writing a lot of papers and you want to use it to write your thesis and you want, if you're a content creator as well um, there's many different variations of why you can benefit from chat gpt plus so many people i know do use a free version so it's not that like you are forced to apply it you can use a free version and get some really good insights but i'm sharing the tools that i'm using in order to write the papers that i am writing right now. so now moving on to the third segment is once you've got that data framework and you've got actually quite a few papers from this initial understanding you want to visualize it you want to really understand okay how are all of these connected and the visualization matrix that research rabbit allows you to use is pretty cool like you see on the screen now this is an example of a visualization matrix of all the papers that are found for an example research paper and you can see that you can you know categorize it from authors from dates from certain areas and you can see how they are connected so how that paper maybe spot all of these papers perhaps because that was earlier and how that name is actually quite common in a lot of the papers you found without realizing so all of these kind of connections you probably wouldn't have seen if it was in a text-based linear fashion but the visualization that research rabbit allows you to use is huge uh, definitely as you that's also free by the way so it is it's free research rabbit is free and you can have a look at them and just add in the papers that you currently got and let's see what it comes up with see if you can connect dots that you probably wouldn't have seen and they might spare you on to find more people so definitely urge you to check research rabbit out all the links to all of the ai tools i'll put in the video description down below so you can have a look and i urge you especially check out research rabbit because it gives you a different flavor a different picture of your research that you probably wouldn't get from many other software and lastly paper bar. now paper is a really really incredible tool to be able to give you real-time suggestions for any text you put into it, especially scientific backed sections in terms of your academic language and academic writing. And you can give you real time suggestions just on the side screen here. As you can see on the screen right now, I gave it a paragraph in from one of my papers and it gave me actually some really interesting suggestions that I could change to make it more concise to the point, but not just take out grammar, but academic research writing style. So just as a disclaimer, I have a brand deal, so sponsorship with PaperPal for my Instagram page. I brand deals are done with them, but I'm not paid to say any of this that I'm saying in this YouTube video. It's not sponsored or gifted in here. This is just because I really, really like the tool. So I wanted to share it on my YouTube channel that I'm actually benefiting from using tools, even though I have a sponsorship, but that's on Instagram only. So I just wanted to make sure everyone's 